My name is Lukas Miksch and I'm working at a German Alfred Wegener Institute in Bremerhaven. I'm studying the biodegradability of bio-based and biodegradable plastics and their effects on marine organisms. In this presentation, I will demonstrate how we are measuring the enzymatic degradability of plastics in the laboratory. Degradation of plastics in the ocean involves physical, chemical and biological processes and it is strongly dependent on environmental conditions such as temperature and oxygen availability. At the sea surface, solar ultraviolet radiation initiates plastic degradation. The plastic loses its mechanical properties and becomes susceptible for mechanical stress. The loss of the mechanical strength of the material is enhanced when chemical additives such as softening agents or UV stabilizers leach out of the plastic. Once the strength of the material is compromised, further degradation is primarily the consequence of mechanical forcing. The progressive fragmentation of plastics into numerous smaller pieces increases the overall surface of the plastics and facilitates the subsequent biochemical degradation of plastics by digestive enzymes of microbes and larger organisms. Enzymes are proteins which have the potential to catalyze biochemical reactions. The reactive center of an enzyme binds to a certain molecule, the substrate, thereby reducing the activation energy which is needed to initiate a chemical reaction. Digestive enzymes cleave nutritional macromolecules such as proteins, carbohydrates and lipids into smaller subunits which then go into metabolic processes. Digestive enzymes can contribute to the degradation of plastics. Extracellular microbial enzymes attach to the surface of the polymer and form enzyme substrate complexes. Therefore, the increase of the surface area of the plastics through fragmentation is essential to increase the binding sites for the enzymes. Depending on the substrate, specific enzymes hydrolyze the polymer chain and release oligo and monomers. The hydrolysis of polyesters forms carboxyl groups. The dissociation of the carboxyl group in a watery solution releases protons, causing a reduction of the pH. The amount of base that is needed to keep the pH constant is a direct measure of the hydrolysis rate of the plastic and, therefore, of its biodegradability. This principle is used in pH stat titration, which we apply to measure the degradability of synthetic polymers. The measurement of enzymatic degradation of polymers is a four-step procedure. During phase one, the automatic titration system adjusts the pH of the suspension to the starting point of 8.2. During phase two, minor quantities of sodium hydroxide are added to compensate for a continuous slight decrease in pH, which we refer to as substrate blank. The addition of the enzyme solution induces a drastic pH drop in the suspension. After readjustment to pH 8.2 in phase 3, sodium hydroxide is continuously added during phase 4 to counterbalance the decrease in pH in response to the continuous formation of carboxyl groups from ongoing enzymatic degradation of the substrate. The slope of the curve in phase 4 is used to calculate the hydrolysis rate, which is equivalent to the degradation rate of the polymer. Here we show the results from measurements of the enzymatic degradation of two bio-based polymers and one conventional petroleum-based polymer. Both bio-based polymers were hydrolyzed by digestive enzymes. Polylactic acid, or shortly PLA, was hydrolyzed by a protease, but not by lipase and esterase. The hydrolytic activity of the protease increased with temperature to a maximum at about 25 degrees Celsius. Polybutylene succinate, or shortly PBS, was best hydrolyzed by a lipase, but also by esterase and protease. The hydrolysis rate for lipase was highest between 20 and 30 degrees Celsius. The conventional petroleum-based polymethyl methacrylate, or shortly PMMA, showed extremely low or no hydrolysis by any of the enzymes. We have seen that different bio-based polymers are hydrolyzed by different enzymes. The bio-based polymers have a higher enzymatic degradability than petroleum-based polymethyl methacrylate. Highest degradation rates were observed at temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius and beyond. Accordingly, the degradation of the bio-based plastics is mostly very low in the ocean. pH stat hydration is a useful method to evaluate 
the enzymatic degradability of natural and synthetic polymers under controlled laboratory conditions. Our study shows that digestive enzymes can contribute to the degradation of biobased polymers. For some biobased polymers, enzymatic degradation is much more efficient than for conventional petroleum-based polymers. However, the enzymatic degradation is probably negligible in most marine habitats.